Greetings, music lovers. Rick Ferguson, Artistic Director of the Musical Offering. Thank you for joining me for this video that I've been working on in conjunction with students from the Orchestra One and Orchestra Two ensembles. This video features four players from our Orchestra Two ensemble, string quartet, Molly Ferguson, Alejandro Acosta, violin, Charlotte Miller, viola, and Howard Godfrey, cello. And we have been taking something of a deep dive into the music and life of uh, a really compelling, one of the most compelling musicians that I know of just because of his life story and, and his many accomplishments, uh, musical and otherwise. And you'll be learning about that as we go through the course of this video and then hearing a complete performance of one of his string quartets. Uh, the composer is Joseph Bologna, Le Chevalier de Saint-Georges, uh, 18th century, born on Christmas Day, 1745, uh, died in Paris in 1799, the real meaning of Renaissance man. Uh, without giving too much away, because our, our students really have done some, some great research and, and have some thoughts to share about Bologna's life, but, you know, he, he was one of the most compelling figures of the 18th century in Europe, born in the French West Indies on the island of Guadeloupe. Fascinating family history and uh, how he was able to, to really overcome, transcend uh, racial and, and equity uh, challenges, boundaries that were in place during this period of time in France. Uh, such an inspiring story. So I want us to hear first uh, four brief videos by our Orchestra 2 students giving just a little bit of background into Bologna's life and some of his compositional output. So enjoy these four videos. Bologna was a great fencer, so it came as a huge surprise when he started playing violin in Francois Joseph Cusack's orchestra. In 1772, he made his solo debut when he performed two violin concerti of his own composition. In 1773, he was named the conductor of the orchestra, but continued to write violin concerti as well as other chamber and orchestral compositions. Hi, my name is Charlotte. Today I'm going to talk a little bit about Joseph Bologna's chamber music. So, he mainly composed sonatas and string quartets. As for string quartets specifically, he composed three sets of six quartets, adding up to a total of 18 quartets. The first set was published in 1773, the second set was published in 1779, and the final set was published in 1785. Throughout his career, Bologna wrote six operas. His first opera was not a success, but a second and other four were. His operas garnered the attention of Marie Antoinette, who would often go and see the premiere um, night of his operas. In 1776, Boulogne was considered for a position of director of the Paris Opera, but was denied the position because of his race. Hi, so I'm going to tell you a little bit about our composer's um, military experience. So um, he went to military school and that was kind of when his name first got out there because he was an excellent, he was described as uh, one of the best swordsmen. Um, he beat a lot of people, he proved himself to a lot of people and then later in life, specifically in 1792, he joined a kind of legion um, in Haiti. Um, of men of color and um, people really attracted to it. It was called the Legion of St. George's um, and he kind of led that. Um, while he was leading that, he kind of like acquired some charges. Those were dropped, but he ended up leaving um, that legion and he didn't get a medal or any recognition for his work. So that is what happened with his military experience and then after he kind of just went on to work on more of the musical aspect and write more operas and compose more pieces, so. Now I want us to hear our quartet in a full performance of Bologna's fourth string quartet in C minor. Uh, this is a, a really, it's a fun work to listen to, but it's, it's also, I think, uh, worth knowing that in, in his output of chamber music, 
This quartet in particular was rather important. It was a part of the, the Sturm und Drang movement, Storm and Stress, uh, in, the, in the mid to slightly latter part of, of the 18th century. And Bologna was, along with Franz Josef Haydn, uh, one of the figures that really developed string quartet writing, uh, shifting it from, from the Baroque style of more of a trio sonata to a real fully fledged four part quartet where the instruments all had their, their individual voices. So beautiful writing, uh, Bologna being such an incredible uh, virtuoso on the violin, of course, he would oftentimes write not only his violin concerti and, and sonatas, but string quartets to, to uh, show his playing to very good effect. So uh, thank you to our quartet members for this and enjoy C minor string quartet number four by Joseph Bologna. <clears throat> Thank you. 
So many thanks to our quartet, Molly Ferguson, Alejandro Acosta Violins, Charlotte Miller Viola, and Howard Godfrey Cello for your fantastic work on this quartet. Uh, beautiful playing. And thank you all for watching and joining us. Please subscribe to the Musical Offerings YouTube channel. We've got a lot of great content that our students are constantly putting up on this channel. So come back for a visit very often. We'll always have something new for you. Take care. Be well. Bye-bye.